there's more and more levels of accountability associated with higher education coming from the public sector, coming from the government, coming from our corporations that are hiring our graduates. In 650 years, the way we teach our students hasn't changed that much. In the past, when you're looking at student performance, what would happen is the first time a student would really understand what was going on was in the middle of the semester at midterms. It's far too late. All of our students are at risk of leaving us. And so it's kind of like a where's Waldo. But all of our students are Waldo. How do we figure out which students need help at what times, what's the best intervention for those students, and how do we apply it soon enough for them to be able to do something about their academic behaviors that's going to allow them to be more successful. Learning analytics for me was an opportunity to solve problems related to student retention, progress, and the completion of degrees. So much of education is about helping people grow. So students are coming to our campuses with lots of different backgrounds. One of the things we can do with learning analytics is actually find all of the Waldos and get them to a point of being able to graduate. Now we can give them information how they're doing as early as week one, week two, as soon as we've got some performance data. We don't have to guess at what's going on. We can actually see what's going on. We're able to tell them and give them actionable information that they can use to change their behaviors. Or when students actually need the assistance, or when different help centers are being used so that they can be staffed appropriately and move us into a realm of what's best for the student. Learning analytics can help us help students get where they want to go with their own data. We can provide them the routes that they can take. It's like using a GPS. The fact that we're seeing good returns on the investments early on. We're seeing more A's and B's, higher levels of retention, higher levels of graduation. We're starting to see these things because we're starting to apply real-time data. What I'm excited about in the future will be looking at prescriptive analytics. Not only are we going to be predicting what's going on, but we will then also be able to use those analytics directly to prescribe treatments. Simply knowing what's going on, predicting the future, really isn't enough. Knowing what you can do about your future and then take action is the most important step of all.